What's up guys, it's Mike Sherrard and today I've got a really exciting video for you, how to start a profitable YouTube channel. What I want to do is walk you through step by step in a screen sharing tutorial, exactly the foundation that you need to build on YouTube if you're just getting started and then the creative ways that you can start to monetize it above and beyond the traditional way of just waiting until you get to a thousand subscribers, 4,000 watch hours and becoming a YouTube partner. You can monetize your channel far before getting a thousand subscribers, but you need to build the foundation correctly first. So I'm going to walk you through all of the creative things you need to do ahead of time when you're starting as a brand new YouTube channel and then what you can do in order to optimize and rank your videos, start to drive action towards your product or service and turn it into an income producing machine. All right guys, so what I wanna do is I wanna walk you through every single thing you need to know in order to start and create a profitable YouTube channel. This is something that a lot of people are starting to finally understand the importance of, but not a lot of people understand how to get started. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna walk through every single thing you need to know, not only in order to get started, but how you can start to scale and then eventually monetize your channel and start to make additional passive income streams from it and have your videos working for you around the clock while you're sleeping. It's an incredibly powerful tool for building your brand, attracting clients, scaling your business, and I'm excited to bring this to you. So let's understand the foundation first. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to go to our channel. So you can see here, you've got your channel and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to break down the different elements. Now, the first thing that you need to know is you need to properly leverage this space up here, your channel art. A lot of people aren't leveraging their channel art for call to actions or for anything other than simply mentioning their name, but it's a really powerful place. You can see over here on the right hand side where I mentioned for people to subscribe for new videos every week, because I do put out multiple videos every week. I'd love if you subscribed as well. Um, but this is a great way that if you have any eBooks, if you have any courses, any training, any consulting, any service-based agency, whatever you do, having this is really important so that you can drive additional traffic to places that you would like to drive people to. You can see here my company, High Converting Content, which helps six to nine figure entrepreneurs scale the business using things like video and YouTube and other platforms. This is where you can go check out my website. So if you do have other things that you can offer people, make sure that you can convey that in your channel art. And then I've got some other information here about what I do, who I am, what kind of content that I focus on as well as my name. So this is a very underutilized space that a lot of people are overlooking that can be advantageous as a great first impression, but also driving action when people come across your page. Now you can customize your channel and what happens when you want to customize your channel is you're able to pick what videos you want to pop up when people come to your channel. So let's check this out and you can see that Right here for returning subscribers, I've got one video. So this is one of my recent videos, my most recent one that I put out four days ago. Now, this is because I want returning subscribers that have already subscribed to my channel to see this. Something new that I just put out. Now for new visitors, I have my channel trailer. Why do I have that? Because for new people that are just coming to my channel, I want them to get to know a little bit about me. And I think this is something that everybody should do is have a small channel trailer. You can see the mine's only about three and a half, four minutes. And this explains everything that I do to help people, what you're gonna get from my channel and why you might wanna consider subscribing. Now the next thing is that a lot of people forget to fill out their about page and this is incredibly important um, in order to again convey the message of who you are and why people might want to stay, why people might want to reach out to you for different business opportunities or collaborations or anything else. So make sure that you do have your about section dialed in here and now let's get into some more creative stuff that not a lot of people think of. So the first thing that I want you to do after going to your YouTube studio and this is where you're gonna host all of your data and analytics and you can start to see some of the information, but you need to come down to settings. Now settings is down here in the bottom left corner and you need to make sure that you've included your channel tags. This is very overlooked. I see a lot of people that are getting started in YouTube that don't have any channel tags and it's very detrimental because how else are people gonna find your channel aside from videos? You want to make sure that your channel is optimized and ready to go and having channel tags is one of the best ways to start to do that. That. Now, if you go to your advanced settings, you're going to see that you have some other information here. But what I want you to do as well is look at branding. So 
if you click on the bottom right hand corner here you can see that I've got a subscribe call to action for people that would like to subscribe to my channel. So this is a video watermark. Again, just a little reminder for people that are watching your videos that might want to take a certain action. So you could have your logo down here, you could have the subscribe button, you could have anything that you want down here, but it's just an additional layer of branding. And finally, on the settings section, you want to make sure that you check out your features and eligibility. And this is really important when you want to get into things like custom thumbnails, having different styles of playlist as well as having different features that are going to allow your channel to grow quicker than most people so you can see here that we've got features that require phone verification we've got you know the default features which include all of these so video uploads playlist creation uh, collaborators to your playlist as well as new videos to an existing playlist now what you need to do is make sure you go to your status and features section and what this is going to do is it's going to show you all of the features that you need. Now, a lot of channels aren't going to have the opportunity to monetize because you need to reach a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours within a 12 month window. But you are going to have things like a custom URL after you've reached your first 100 subscribers. You are going to be able to enable longer videos. You are going to be enable custom thumbnail. So you want to make sure that you enable these so that you can start to add additional layers of branding to your channel because if you don't have custom thumbnails, it's going to be really hard for people to be attracted to your videos. If you don't have a custom URL, it's going to be really difficult to share your URL in a very clean way. If you can't upload videos longer than 15 minutes, you're going to be very limited. So you need to make sure that you've got everything enabled that you can. You can see here that I've got most enabled, I don't do live streaming yet, and I don't have the ability to become eligible for channel memberships yet just because I don't have a large enough channel. But this is just some background information that you need to make sure that you do. Now, what are some of the additional things that you need? What I wanna go through now is looking at the different videos and explaining what you need to do every time you upload a video. This is incredibly important and is very overlooked because a lot of people are wondering why their new videos aren't being found, why they're not ranking, why they're not growing or getting viewers, engagement, things like that. And it all comes down to this. So let me go to videos and I'll pull up a video that most people would recognize because it's my most popular video. So if we come over here and we pull up the good old TikTok video, let me explain this just because it's a very relevant topic and it's something that most people would recognize. So let me break it up here. So here we go. Okay, so when we look at one of my videos, this is what you guys need to understand. There's different components. So there's the thumbnail, there's the title, there's the description. At the bottom, there's the tags, which are down here. And then there's a couple different features that I'm gonna walk you through. So please make sure you stay tuned because all of these are incredibly important. The first thing you can see here with the thumbnail is being bright, bold, but conveying the message very clearly. You need, when somebody's looking on a small mobile device, people need to be able to browse through YouTube, see your thumbnail, and know exactly what the video is about. So that's, if you can see this, even on a small screen, you can tell it's about TikTok for business, but it also pops because there's some bright colors. You can have this design on Canva, you can do it by outsourcing it to somebody like my team but if you do want anything that's going to stand out and attract viewers you need to make sure that you do have custom thumbnails that are attracting people now the next thing that's very overlooked is the title you need to think of this as a call to action how are people going to look at your video and why would they choose yours over somebody else now the video title is so important because this is like the title of a movie Oftentimes you become intrigued about a movie when you see an interesting title. So what you want to make sure that you're doing is capturing their information, but flooding it with keywords. So if you look here at this simple title, how to use TikTok for business, step-by-step -step tutorial and marketing strategy, you've got how to use TikTok. You've got how to use TikTok for business. You've got TikTok for business. You've got step-by-step -step tutorial for TikTok, TikTok tutorial, TikTok marketing strategy, TikTok for business marketing strategy, TikTok for business tutorial. And there's like 13 different keyword opportunities here from this one easy title. And that's something that has helped this video rank really well versus other videos that I put out because of the fact that I thought a bit more about this. So when you're thinking about your titles, thinking about how many different ways are people typing in the topic of your video so that they might be able to find it. Now, something that you're gonna notice down here, if you look at the descriptions, I've got things like useful resources. So obviously in terms of the upper part of the description, 
I've got keywords as well as the title in the description. Now I've also got in this video, I'll show you the following. What is TikTok? How do you use TikTok for business? TikTok marketing strategy. I've got all of these highly searched keyword phrases, which again are going to help the SEO of the video whenever people are searching for it. Now, how do you monetize your channel? Aside from the obvious, which is reaching the YouTube partner criteria of a thousand subscribers, 4,000 watch hours in a 12 month window, you can start to do things like this. I've got useful resources, which includes all of my free guides, information on my master's class, as well as all of the Facebook groups that are run that people can become a part of. So having all of your resources and links in the description for your product, service, anything that you wanna do with collaboration, whether it be product affiliates or anything like that, is really powerful and this is a great way to drive traffic off of YouTube and that's not something that a lot of people understand. A lot of people make the mis uh, um, misassumption that most people with big channels are making money from YouTube ad revenue. That is possible and they do make decent money, but the majority of the money comes from driving traffic off of YouTube to your website, to your funnels, to your services, or anything like that. So make sure that you use this very strategically and make sure that you include all of your links and I'm gonna show you an even better example in my newer videos after I get through this. Now you can also see that I've got Amazon affiliate links here to monetize my channel. So what that does is when people wanna use the same mic that I'm using at this very point in time, they can click this link if they're in the US, this link if they're in Canada, and then I'll get a small percentage of that um, purchase whenever they do go through with the transaction. So all of my video equipment is here. Another great way to monetize your channel and something you can do even as a brand new channel without any subscribers. You just have to sign up for the Amazon affiliate program which is really easy to do. Now let's come down here and you can see that there's other information. You can use three hashtags and this is really important for having your video be found. I have the call to actions for people to check me out on my other social media platforms as well as a brief description down here of who I am, why people might wanna check out my videos and what they might be doing when they come across my channel. They can see here I've got a very high vidIQ score of almost 99 out of 100, and that's primarily for this reason. You can see here, any of these dark blue numbers are what I rank in the world whenever people search for this. So TikTok marketing number one, how to use TikTok for marketing, how to use TikTok for business, TikTok marketing strategy, TikTok marketing, anything like that. I rank number one with this video in the world. That's really powerful. It's allowed people to come to my business, to make new connections, meet new opportunities and things like that. But with your tags, this is where the magic happens. Is this where a lot of people overlook it? I see a lot of people with no tags on their videos and they're wondering why not, they're not getting any traction. A lot of people hear from all the information that's out there that YouTube is an evergreen platform, which means that it lives on here forever. But what it doesn't mean is that it grows forever. If you optimize your video, yes, it can grow forever. But if you don't optimize it and you don't include tags or anything like that, your video is going to likely die after the first 24 hours. So you want to make sure that you're doing your keyword research and that you include tags. So all of these tags are things different ways for people to check out your video. So again, if people type in TikTok marketing strategy, which this video is about, it's gonna be the number one video. You want to be including tags that relate to any type of phrase that people would be typing in as YouTube is a search algorithm in order to find your video and for your video to be the perfect fit. So you need to think strategically about this. Again, back when I was doing primarily real estate videos, sometimes people refer to real estate agents as realtors or real estate agents. So I would do maybe Facebook Facebook lead generation for realtors, Facebook lead generation for real estate agents, because people are typing it in in two different ways, depending on what their preference is. So that's why I have here, you've got TikTok marketing strategy, TikTok marketing, TikTok uh, for business, TikTok marketing. So you've got all kinds of different things on here. So this is a great example, TikTok marketing, marketing on TikTok. Ranks number one for both. People could be typing it in two different ways, but they're gonna find this video. So you wanna make sure you're identifying what different ways people would be searching for your video in order to make sure that it gets found. Now, the other things that you need to understand are things like end screen. So what is an end screen? An end screen is simply what pops up at the end of the video and I'll show you here so that you can drive people to your other videos. At the end of the day, you want people to come across your channel and stay on your channel. And if you do it this way, YouTube's going to rank you a bit higher than if they came to your channel and left. So you can see here, if we just click play, these videos pop up, best for viewer, as well as this other video. 
And then you've got the subscribe call to action here, which you can include on all of your videos. So you want to make sure that you're adding the end screens so that when people finish your video, they're likely going to watch another one of yours. Now, what are cards? Cards are an opportunity, and I don't know if I have any on this video. Yes, I do, which is great. What a card is, is this little eye at the top and it comes out and drives traffic to other videos. So you can see here, I probably talked about Instagram at this point in time. So what I did is I did a card and you'll see as this gets close and I'm talking about Instagram, this is gonna come across and show people where they can go find out the exact video that I referenced, right? So what to post on Instagram. You can see here, I probably talked about LinkedIn and I wanted people to check out my LinkedIn video. So now whenever it gets to the point in the video where I reference LinkedIn, this is gonna happen and you can see that it comes across there. So it's a really powerful way for you to drive traffic to your other videos whenever people are watching. So the final thing that I really want you to understand is coming and looking at your channel and the playlist because this is heavily underutilized and I think more people need to be mindful of it. So you can see here when you look at my playlist, I've got different playlists for different opportunities. So I've got social media for real estate agents, Facebook ads, I've got content and social media marketing, I've got Instagram tips, YouTube tips, which this video will be added to. And what that is, is that whenever somebody comes across one video in a playlist, the likelihood is that they're gonna go check out other videos in that playlist, hoping that they're relevant and relate to the topic that they just found in that first video. This is really powerful because a lot of people will start binge watching your content and this is gonna keep people on your channel, keep them engaged and help you build stronger brand awareness. Now, one thing that I did wanna show you that I talked about earlier is things like the following. If we look at this video, you're going to see the information that I have down at the bottom here. So I copy and paste this in every single video so that I have the best chance for people to continue to stay on my channel and hopefully get as much value as they humanly can. So from here down, I copy this and paste it in every single YouTube video. So let's go through it at the start. At the start, I've got useful resources, which again, shows all of the information that I have for people that wanna look at my courses, look at anything free I have, like this free many chat course, join our mastermind. And this is a great way for people to check out other products or services that you have. Now again, I've got my most popular playlist. So if somebody's interested in YouTube tips and tutorials, this has every powerful video that I've ever created relating to YouTube tips and tutorials. Instagram tips, personal branding, content marketing, all of the playlists. Now I also have all of my highest ranking videos. So if you're interested in Instagram engagement, you might wanna check out one of these. YouTube algorithm, any of these three. Or if you're looking at Facebook ads, again, here's a great video that shows you some ad secrets. So this is leveraging all of the different components of your channel in order to help people stay in your channel, find your channel, and eventually see you as a credible resource. Now, the last thing I want to do is break down some of the analytics. So whenever you upload a video, you're going to see this on your dashboard. You can see your subscriber count, how much it's changing. You can start to see things like your re revenue, as well as your top performing videos over the last 48 hours, and some of the comments and examples of what's going on. You wanna keep an eye on your average view duration because watch time is one of the most powerful parts of YouTube's algorithm. You want watch time to be as high as possible, ideally over 50%. That's a very good ratio. If you can get people to watch over 50% of your video. Impressions and click-through rate, again, really powerful because you want people to be choosing yours. If you can get upwards of five or more, that's really good. Usually people are sitting around 3%. And then of course you've got your views and your rankings by videos based on the ones that you've done in the last 10 videos. So this is basically a rundown of everything that you need to know. And then as you start to put in more content, again, you can drive people to more of the links in your description as well as using a verbal call to action so that people can check out things that you have to offer from a buying, selling, investing type of opportunity for your products. And I think this is a great way for you to start kickstarting your channel and making sure that you've kind of dotted all your I's, crossed all your T's, and we help a lot of people with their call to actions. Now, the last thing that I wanna show you is having call to actions. So what we'll do is we'll look up one of my recent videos here. So what you can see here, in this video, I've got a little prelim of what to expect from this video. Now, what I wanna show you as this video goes on is some of the call to actions that are made because you need to make sure that you're doing this. Now, I've got my little intro, and then you can see here, 
I've got my YouTube intro, which is a great way to show people a little bit about you. And then after my YouTube intro, I've got different call to actions, right? So I've got a like call to action. And then after that, I'm going to have a pop up for people to subscribe and check out more and tap the notification bell. So I think this is a great opportunity again to drive traffic because sometimes if you don't tell people something, they're just simply not going to do it. And I have different call to actions throughout my videos. So make sure that you do have those as well because you want to be getting the best traction possible for whenever people are watching your videos. So that's a brief rundown of YouTube, how to start, how to get started with a profitable channel and eventually how to monetize it by driving traffic off of YouTube and getting to the point where you're starting to build up momentum, hit that first thousand subscribers, get those 4,000 watch hours, become a YouTube partner, and then start to grow and scale your channel. What you're going to realize is that it does take time. It took me about eight months to get my first 1,000 subscribers, and now I'm getting over 1,000 a month. So it is gonna build up. You just need to stay consistent and keep doing what you're doing, but make sure you optimize your videos with the tags, titles, descriptions, and do everything I explain in this video, and you'll be well on your way. So if you do have any questions, or if you want us to do the channel art for you, do all the pop-up call to actions, intros, and set your channel up for success, Drop a comment below. I'm more than happy to have a conversation with you and show you exactly how to do that so that you can start crushing it from day one. Otherwise, if you do have any other questions, drop a comment below. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Thanks so much, and we will see you next time.